Hi, I'm Taylor with BTOD.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to remove and replace the cylinder on your Steelcase Leap V2 chair. The two tools you're going to need to remove the cylinder from your Leap V2 chair is a large pipe wrench and a rubber mallet. Now to protect our cylinder in case we are going to reuse it, I have put duct tape on the teeth of our pipe wrench. Before you start, make sure that you protect your surface and the floor. We're using blankets, but you can also use cardboard. To start, you will wanna use your pipe wrench and you want to be sure that you clamp towards the top of the cylinder up against the mechanism. Once it's clamped down, Turn the pipe wrench a quarter turn to try to loosen it. The cylinder is not screwed on, so just loosen it until you can pull the cylinder and the base off. To remove the cylinder from the base, you're going to want to turn the base and the cylinder upside down. Once again, you want to make sure that your floor is protected because when the cylinder does dislodge, it can ruin your floor. Now you can also do this over a garbage can if that is easier. To remove the cylinder from the base, you will be using a rubber mallet. Now if the rubber mallet does not work, you can also use a hammer. Now before you start, be sure to watch your feet just so the cylinder does not hit your feet when it dislodges from the base. Using the rubber mallet, hit the bottom of the cylinder to dislodge it from the base. If you are having any difficulty removing the cylinder from the base, try hitting it on the sides to loosen it from the base. For Steelcase Leap V2 returns, or if you are replacing your cylinder, we ask that you dispose of the cylinder, because if you do put it back in the box with the return, it can cause potential damage to the chair itself. To replace the cylinder on your Leap V2 chair, you wanna start by putting the base on the floor and dropping the cylinder into the base. There are two types of cylinders a side activated cylinder and a top activated cylinder. If you have the side activated cylinder, make sure that the tab is facing towards the seat height lever when setting your chair onto the cylinder and base. If you have the top activated cylinder, you can just set the chair on top of the cylinder. Make sure to align the hole on the bottom of the mechanism with the cylinder. Once the chair is on the cylinder, just push down onto the seat with a little bit of force to lock it into place. And then it should be ready to go. If you have any other questions on how to remove or replace a cylinder on your Leap V2 chair, feel free to contact us. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.